I'm going to show you two examples of the substitution application problems. For this, we're going to define our variables. You've decided to give your parents a bag of marbles for their anniversary. Since you know that your mom likes yellow marbles better than purple ones, one bag has three times as many yellow marbles as purple. The bag contains 164 marbles. How many of each type of marble is in the bag? So let's go ahead and let's let Y be our yellow marbles. We're going to let X be our purple marbles. So first of all, we know that all together there's 164 marbles. So X marbles plus Y equals 164. You also know that your mom likes yellow marbles better than purple ones. So the bag has three times as many yellow marbles as purple marbles. How are we going to represent that in our equation? So, since your mom likes the yellow marbles, we asked how are we going to represent that. One bag has three times as many yellow marbles as purple. So the yellow marbles in the bag are going to be equal to three times the number of purple mar marbles. Right now we have our two equations, so we can substitute y equals 3p. I'm going to plug this in for y over here in equation 1. So x plus, and this should be 3x, not 3p, sorry, 3x equals 164. So 4x equals 164, so x is going to equal to 41 marbles. So if we have 41 are purple, plus y is going to equal 164 marbles, our yellow marbles are actually going to equal to 123. So we'll have 41 purple and 123 yellow marbles. Number two, Alexis and Ben saved $116. Ben saved $5 more than twice as much as Alexis. How much did each of them save? So we can actually use different letters if we want to. A can represent Alexis, <clears throat> B can represent Ben. So we know together they saved 116. So Alexis plus Ben equals 116. Ben saved $5 more than twice as much as Alexis. So Ben is equal to $5 more, so plus 5, than 2 times Alexis. So, <clears throat> since we already know that B equals this, we're going to plug it in over into our first equation. So A plus 2A plus 5 is equal to 116. 3A plus 5 equals 116. So 3A is going to equal 111. So A is going to equal to $37. We can use our second equation. We can actually use either equation. It doesn't matter. B equals 2 times the $37 plus the 5. So Ben saving 2 times 37 is going to give me 74 plus 5. So Ben had $79. So Alexis has 37 and Ben has $79.